The fuel crisis has not only affected education but many other sectors as well. People stood in long queues to get fuel without engaging in their daily duties. Due to the token system not being implemented in a proper manner, clashes were reported in several areas. A tense situation arose at the Godagamayosi petrol station last night. The group demanded a copy of the list of names of the people who had received tokens. <laughs> Our correspondent reported that fuel was later distributed as normal. The Sipet Co filling station in Veveldenia received fuel today. A tense situation arose when people without tokens were unable to obtain fuel. Therefore, the police adopted a system where for every 10 people with a token, one person without a token was allowed to obtain a maximum of 1,000 rupees worth of fuel. Meanwhile, a tense situation arose near the Gampaha IOC filling station today when police officers were given priority in the distribution of fuel. <laughs> Our correspondent reported that with the intervention of the military, fuel was distributed to those waiting in queues. Parliament and its 225 members are non-essential service. The entire government must go home. They cannot continue to govern this country by changing heads. Everything else in the country is an essential service. The only non-essential service in the country is the parliament and its 225 members. MPs get enough fuel while we are standing in queues. Parliamentarians do not have to wait in line for fuel or gas. They get everything they need. We have been waiting in line for days and we still cannot get fuel.